continue. But look, let's focus now on the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and more specifically, its drive to develop a technologically advanced, diverse and integrated capital market. It has, in fact, received a significant boost. Mukasa have been established as the country's only central counterparty clearing centre, handling post-trade enhancements and cash and derivatives market clearing. We're joined now by Khalil Abrahim al -Abdul Wahab, Chief Business Development at Mukasa, to look at this in more detail. Welcome, Khalil, to Cybus TV. I hope you've enjoyed Cybus 2022. Thank you. I'm happy to be here and to share our experience also in our transformation journey in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Fantastic. Now, in fact, we, we were talking about this at the start of Cybos. And if you can actually fill us in and actually tell us what is Mukasa and really defining what its role is in the Saudi capital market, because it's happening at such an exciting time for the kingdom. I agree. Uh, so Mukasa is the security clearing center uh, company. It's a company owned by the Saudi Tadawal Exchange Group. It's the only entity uh, licensed to perform security clearing services in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It's an important component in the capital market infrastructure at, as it reduces the post-trade risks. It also enhances the market infrastructure and enables a better market efficiency. It also aligns the kingdom with the international practices globally, where we enable new products and services accordingly. Uh, it also enables the Saudi Tadawal Group to introduce new products and services to compete with the international landscape. Uh, I can imagine it's, it can be difficult to describe in such a short period of time at the, the developments, you know, developing at an alarming rate. But could you, you tell us a little bit about the, the current developments happening at Mukasa? Sure. So Saudi so Tadawal Group have undergone uh, a major transformation for the couple of years uh, starting, and I can couple them or group them in three main areas. So the first area would be uh, developing the laws and regulations to enable those kind of products and services and market infrastructures where we have changed the capital market law, introduced clearing rules and procedures, along with enabling multiple um, enhancements in the legal framework. On the second level, we have replaced the total technology of the post-trade infrastructure with a new state-of-art solution. And the third element, which involves Mukasa, which is enabling new product or uh, new capital market infrastructures to further develop uh, the market infrastructure and introduce new products and services. From a Mukasa's point of view or perspective, uh, we have been launched uh, or we have been established in 2018. We started our operations in 2020, enabling the first exchange traded derivative product, which was Index Futures. Uh, since then, we have launched the second trade exchange traded derivative product, which is the Single Stock Futures. We have launched it this year, June. So this year has been uh, very busy for us, and I will, you will see why. Uh, also this year, we have also enabled our clearing services as part of Tadawa Group major transformation pro pro programs, uh, where we have enabled uh, the clearing services across all of the cash market products. So clearing the one of the largest equity markets globally, fixed income exchange trade funds. We have also enabled the first off-exchange trade product. So now we are clearing repurchase agreements, which enable secured lending and borrowing for our entities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, guaranteed and cleared by the Center Clearing House. You slightly touched on, the, on my, my next question, in fact, because you're, you're doing so much within the kingdom, but what are you doing to align the Saudi capital market with international markets? I think you alluded to it earlier, in fact, in, yeah, sure. in your answer. I agree. So uh, in, back in 2020, uh, the Capital Market Authority of Saudi Arabia have licensed the, king, the, king, the first CCP in the kingdom, which is Mukasa, to perform its clearing services not only as a CCP, but also as a qualified CCP. So it enables both uh, capital benefits along with, the, with, the, with added value services to our clients. And I can group uh, maybe the alignment with international practices in two main areas. Uh, the first area being an enabler for growth. So by introducing best practice risk management components, we enable Saudi Tadawal Group to introduce new products and services to the market. And the second area is reducing the counterparty risk and reducing the, basically the post-trade risks which is alignment with international practice such as CPMI Osco. So how are you aligning the, the, the facilitating even the interconnectivity of, of GCC markets? Sure, I'm happy that we have announced earlier this year um, our plans to go and reach out to our, our neighbour countries in order for evaluating areas of collaboration and opportunities uh, whereby we are more than happy to share our experience with our, global, our regional partners to attract investments to the local market. So Saudi Arabia is a, is a global destination for international investors, and it's a gateway for the region. So we want to use our position and also to enhance the market infrastructure in the region to be up to peer with other market infrastructures. Since then, we have announced that we have signed six MOUs with our, our local partners, and we're looking forward to collaborate more further and develop the capital market in a better way. 
This is a story that has more to tell, more to give, and I think you'll be giving it in Toronto at Cybos 2023. Looking forward to it. Excellent. Khalid Al Abdul Wahab, thank you so much for joining us. He's, of course, the Chief of Business Development at Mokassa. And please do enjoy the final day of Cybos 2022. It's wonderful to see you. Thank you very much. Thank Happy you. to be here.